So how do I twerk? <laughs> Should have probably looked up a tutorial. I'll show you what I know. Bend my knees and stick out my ass. Oh, I guess I'll just so, to show you my ass. Yeah, 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 yeah. You hop the booty out. Ha 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 hop the booty out. Move the butt up and down. Yeah, kind of okay. like that. Yeah, yeah, Give me it's hard. Button. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, here we go. One and two and three and four. Okay, well, is that enough? <laughs> it's weird. Ha 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 the booty out. Ha 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 the booty out. Up the booty out. Booty out. Ma'am, please put the butt cheeks down. Oh my god. What are you doing? What are you twerking for vegan gains of all people? Huh? With what? We all just watched that vegan teacher twerk for vegan gains. Thanks, Vibes Cartel, for making this happen. By the way, she didn't even have music, which you probably should have provided. This woman was just busting it open to nothing. The main thing you want to focus on is just getting the rhythm and try to pick up speed. At least she could have played Carrots and Hummus. That would have been great to bust it open to. And the carrots and hummus sweater. Carrots and hummus. Go hey everyone, happy next month. That vegan teacher and vegan gains have officially met and it is wild. This is one of the greatest podcasts I've ever seen. It has everything. It has twerking. It has a little... It talks about why vegan gains hates babies, which I'm assuming is why he hates us so much. It has them agreeing with almost everything and then it also has them not agreeing with anything. This is like two peas in a vegan pod, which is what you should call this podcast, mind you. Alright, let me just give you a little context and at the risk of me reigniting the beef between that meathead Richard, a few months ago I first talked about the vegan teacher and it had nothing to do with her being a vegan at all. I heard her rapping and singing skills and I was just, I was not impressed, let's be honest. That was like Simon Cowell at American Idol season two. I'm just not happy the whole way. For some reason, Richard being the white knight he is came and defended her and not only did he defend her on being a vegan, he also defended her singing and said mine was bad. Yeah, talking about bad music, dude. So he just stands in the doorway squealing like a f***ing chipmunk and you're talking yeah you're talking about bad sh tasteless music since then they're closing in on a hundred thousand streams so mwah, gotta love that vegan gains cosign so as the story goes he took an hour out of his day to go on stream and basically trash me tell me dude when you go out of the house uh dressed like this with that haircut do girls look at you um do you get any phone numbers or anything you know when he talks he sounds like he's actually mentally disabled i don't know if he has like suffers from mental or something so i clap back thanks for the subscribers rich love you bro now before i get into the podcast when vegan gains first came after me he had 340,000 subscribers and i had 250,000. and my goal was to just take over him right now we're sitting at 300,000 subscribers congratulations you big babies a sincere thank you so much for getting us to this milestone we're gonna find move here baby so I drew a 340,000 goal there because that is vegan gains number. Actually, to be specific, it's 338,000 because in the month and a bit since we had the beef, he went from 340 to 338. I went from 250 to 300. Now, I'm not telling you to subscribe, but if you want to help and get past vegan gains, I would really honestly appreciate it. Thank you so much. And if we do pass him, I might have another song in mind, so incentive. And while you're at it, do follow me on my Instagram at 16leo underscore. That is the place where Richard famously made fun of my clothing and my face. You walk out of the house like this? What the f*** is on his head? Look at this f***ing guy. So if you want to see my ugly face and shitty clothing, all you have to do is go to 16leo underscore and follow me right there. <laughs> okay, so the original length of this podcast was two and a half hours. I sat through this whole thing and scrubbed through it so I could find the best parts. I hope you guys enjoy it. Oh, and by the way, quick disclaimer in case Meathead and Vegan Teacher are watching this. Not only do I not hate veganism, I think it's great. I think people who do it are fantastic. I don't think you two represent the greater community of vegans. In saying that, if anybody's watching Watching their channel, please don't go and leave silly comments on either of their channels. But Richard, if you're watching this and your broccoli head is steaming by now, do a video on me if you want. I'll come back and do one of my own. We'll make that money together. Can you believe it? We're reunited. We're reunited cause we understood in vegan games and 16 Leo. I don't know the words to the song. How is everybody today? Grace, thank you for asking. Do you know? Who vegan gains is? Yeah. 
goddamn right I do. Got the greatest hairline. He's one of the funniest people on YouTube. Got the most subscribers. Definitely the greatest IQ of all time. And I think he loves children. I saw some videos of him and I thought, wow, that guy looks pretty healthy. Ooh, a little sensual tension. She was like, ooh, he looks healthy. I like to wrap my plants around him if you know what I'm talking about. Ooh. I really want to include you as much as possible. Even the haters. Anybody else who wants to express themselves, it's totally fine. Awesome. So she waits a little while and then Vegan Gains comes on. But as usual, he's unprepared and his mic is way too soft. Hey, Hi there. What's going on? Sorry, I'm a little... Can you hear us? Yeah, I can hear you. Hello, do you hear me? Yeah, I hear you. Why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? Okay. Okay, well, same as me. Hey, Vegan Gains, how are you doing? Yeah, I'm doing okay. Um, we're still wearing the same. Awesome, buddy. Moving on to the next topic. Oh, I really wasn't even done. Okay. Vegan Gains is like a young Neil deGrasse Tyson if Neil deGrasse Tyson hated everyone and everything that existed. Instead of his mind filled with wonder and possibility, it's impossibility and f***ing hatred. So we're about, I think, maybe like 600 kilometers apart or something like that. One of these days when COVID if it's over, I'd like to come and yeah. see you. You know, yeah, we have a yeah. spare room, so it'd be so much fun. <laughs> I thought Vegan Gaines was the one who liked Miss Katie, honestly, because he said she looked good. She looks great. She's in shape. I... Like, really? But Miss Katie's throwing her right back in his face. Oh, she, she got a spare room for you, Richard. She's going to tuck you in and give you a little one of these. All right, I can see this is a beautiful budding relationship between two already married people. That seems great. Damn, Pugman, $99.99. I mean, for $99, Pugman could have got them to do anything. Because for $25, Vibes Cartel got them to do everything. Let's see if I can line my butt up. Okay. I'm getting better. I'm, I'm getting the rhythm down a bit more. Who knew Vegan Games was a city goal? I didn't know that. All right, Meg D. Stallion, Uncle Viggs is back at it, baby. Man, next time I go to the Carrot Club, I might find your ass right there. I got some bounce too. I ain't gonna do it because nobody paid me no $25. But let's be real. I know my worth is more than $25 for this ass. Anywho, now that I've seen Vegan Gains twerking, my life should be complete, but it's not. I don't have all the Infinity Stones till that vegan teacher does it as well. Oh no! TBT twerking. Put and your left you... foot in, you put your left foot not out. Quite. You... No, not quite. Not okay. Quite. Arch your back and like curve your back, but do it very quickly. That helps to move the butt up and down. Yeah, kind of like guess. that. Listen, I'm a simple man. I'm a patriotic man. Um, I really support my country of twerkania. Two best inventions of sliced bread, yoga pants twerking. But when I see an old lady bomb in jeans running a back to a 30 year old man, I'm not prepared for that. I think that I'm supposed to. Bend my knees and stick out my ass. Put your back into flexion and extension. Oh, I guess I have so, to show you my ass. Oh my god. This is a vegan porno, isn't it? Put my back into it? Uh, uh, uh. Oh, I guess I've just shown you my ass, haven't I? Oops. Really making that, uh, you know, the butt pop, like... Okay. I'd say just get the rhythm first. This is so weird to hear Richard doing this. So what you have to do is arch your back to a 68 degree posture and then just stretch out your butt cheeks. And if you'd like, play some Ray Shremit and make it clap. Is the idea to do like fast and little or like exaggerated? Should I do it little by little or should I exaggerate it? Vegan. Whoever wrote the script is a goddamn genius. Did Aaron Sorkin write this? Who wrote this? Woo! Thank you for giving me that little twerk lesson and thank you for a little uh, donation there. We really appreciate that. You know, if they paid her enough, she'd, she'd probably open an OF. You know that, right? I'm just realizing that now. I feel they paid her $25 and she's been twerking for like five minutes straight. <laughs> Can you imagine people paying her like $1,000 a month? The things she would do to carrots. <laughs> Please don't do that. Shortly after that twerk sesh, Vegan Gains and that vegan teacher go on to talk about why they like guilt tripping people and offending them. But you know, these people talk about not trying to offend meat eaters, not trying to make them feel bad. The only way to advocate for vegan ethics is to make people feel bad, make them feel guilty. Is that really a way to do things? To, to guilt people into doing something? Is that really a healthy way of getting people to truly believe in your cause? I say it in like half the videos, I'm South African. My president used to be Nelson Mandela. He came from prison. You think he came out and he was like, oh, well, if you guys don't get along, I'll just, I'll just go back to prison. Oh. Yeah, I don't eat much every day. I don't even get much sleep. It's, it's pretty bad there. It's pretty cold, you know? I'll, I'll just be there. 
No, seriously, if you guys don't want equality, I'll just, I'll just head out. Look, I understand that we probably have a difference in opinion on this, but I always believe that if you're really passionate about something, you'll find a way to make people love it. And that way they'll join without you having to scare people into them. Well, I think when I was on TikTok, singing and dancing over there, and, and I was calling people out, I was saying, you know, everyone should be yeah. vegan. If you're black, you should be vegan. If you're white, you should be vegan. You have a chronic illness, you can still be vegan. Just do your best. That's all that matters. That's all it means. Don't just say, oh, well, I have chronic illness. That's why I still have to eat honey and uh, come on. You know? You know she was a nurse. And someone was like dying. I've been shot. Damn, I gotta help you, but are you vegan? What? No, no, I'm not. Oh, we just ran out of morphine and bandages and everything. Whoops. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. You can change. You can walk it off. No, seriously, I've been shot in the stomach. I don't think I can. Well, yeah, well, maybe all the meat that you ate will spill out. Come on. Come on. Come on. After that amazing speech by Miss Katie, she then asks what Vegan Gains does. Tell everybody what you do what, and what your goals are and why you do the weight training. Want to be able to bench 405 pounds by the end of the year? Yeah, I don't know anything about that. You like lie down on your back and you just have to lift it one time. It has to touch your chest. What, what, yeah, what is this uh, weight lifting that the kids are talking about? Weight lifting? What is a gym, by the way? Someone said they got a lot of plates there, but it doesn't look like it's a restaurant. Nobody's eating. Uh, you, I mean, what the hell? And who is Jaim Carey? For those of you who don't follow Vegan Games, you absolutely should. And he does a lot of lives and he talks, he burps a lot. And he doesn't say, yeah. excuse me, he just burps. What a way to introduce your next guest. <laughs> <laughs> that seems more like a diss than anything. My next guest hasn't been outside his own home in six years. He has a mediocre body. He sits down for like three hours a day, gets 10 bucks, and uh, doesn't do much else except bump. Vegan guys, everybody. Anyway, your your gym, how much does it cost you for all of those different weights that you have there? You're you're in an apartment. Like, are you worried yeah. it's going to go through the floor? That's a lot of weight. No, it should be fine. It's a pretty new apartment, too. Okay. Uh, you know what she's doing, right? She's, she's surveying how much cash she makes. She's trying to do the old husband hop is what she's doing. She's like, how much, how much money you make? How much, how much weight you lift? You got a nice body? You want to see my ass? I talk a lot. She's just, she's just planting the seeds in his head. I see what you're doing, vegan teacher, and I appreciate it. And I mean, there's like gigantic fat asses these days. Um, there's a dude who lived down, uh, like down the hall from me who was like 600 pounds. So if he can walk around in his apartment, I'm sure I can lift up like, you know, 500 pounds off the floor without falling through it. Mm. All right. Trust Richard to take the time out of his day to diss someone else who doesn't have anything to do with him. She just asked about weights and he's like, there's a 600 pound fat ass who never leaves the house. How do I know he never leaves the house? Cause I never leave the house. He doesn't have a treadmill. I don't have friends. We don't leave the house. He would yeah, like he to moved. He moved. And I'm kind of mm. glad he smelled really bad. He'd stink up the elevator. Aw, poor guy. You know, there's people like that. You gotta feel a bit sorry for them, no? Yeah, but I mean, he also smells. Trust, trust vegan gays to also bring up the way someone smells for no reason. This started out by the vegan teacher asking about his weightlifting abilities. Now this man has turned this into a personal roast session for a man who's moved out. Richard, he's out of your life. Shut the fuck up and move on. What floor are you on? Like, you're, are you in a, like, a huge high rise? It's Guelph, right? So it must be no, just- No, yeah, it's not man. huge. Uh, yeah. It's just four floors. Okay. She's doing it again. So do you live in a, a big apartment? How big is the skyscraper? Do you own it? Are you the CEO of Gaines Incorporation? How much you make a year? What? It's not huge. Four floors. Ooh. Okay. Uh, well, we'll see about you coming over to my house. I don't know about that. All right. And do you have any threats like I do? <laughs> what a weird tangent that was. That was all in the same sense. I didn't cut that. What floor are you on? Like, you're, are you in a, like, a huge high rise? It's Guelph, right? So it must be no, just- No, like, yeah, it's not there. huge. Uh, yeah. It's just four floors. Okay. All right. And do you have any threats like I do? What a weird thing to bond over as well. You get them? I get them. Oh my, I get them all the time. How many do you get? We should play whoever gets the most threats takes the other one out to dinner. We might even get some at dinner. Oh. Yeah, with me, I got like threats here and there. This idiot kid who lived across the street leaked my address. And uh, then people started sending pizzas to my house. That's a deed threat? People sending pizza? Th that's dinner for me. What the hell? I think the only like real serious threats I've gotten were from uh, Muslims. I made a video where I uh, dressed up as the Prophet Muhammad and uh, just pointed out how Islam is 
Certainly not a religion of peace. So this is the reason why I have zero respect for this man. This is the same man who claimed that his dog has anxiety because a group of Muslim people came on a train to harass his girlfriend and his dog. He also later on goes on the video to say how he has a hard time empathizing with people. If you have a lack of control and understanding with emotions, why are you intentionally trying to make other people mad about their faith? Honestly, you're a pretty disgusting person already, but this solidifies it. Yeah, and yeah. half the time it's 13-year-olds who just have, think it's funny to do whatever. You could probably take him on. Yeah, I'll take some lessons from you. Yeah. Or, I'll, or I'll twerk. And yeah, maybe. Whoop, how about we get Auntie Karen out of the building? How about we get her back home to where she belongs? That's why we don't let her around the kids. She either forces carrots down their throats or twerks on them, so. The next topic they talk about is... <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. I couldn't say it. I used to smoke... And I did that to help with my anger issues. I have done my fair share of mushrooms, and I'll probably uh, do them again soon. And there's actually some human research showing they're uh, extremely effective. And there's actually some human research. As opposed to animal research in which the dog slams his paw on the keyboard and goes, ruff, 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 and that means take them. When I went to a party at John Abbott College when I was 16, somebody gave me some mushrooms. They gave them to me in this plastic thing. I was totally terrified I would never take them. So I put them in my diary, close the diary, and I still have them. And I'm 56, so I have like 40 year old mushrooms. They're That's like weird. dead. Putting mushrooms in your diary and closing it for 40 years sounds like something someone who did mushrooms would do. You, how does this even compute? It sounds like you have to be tripping balls to want to put mushrooms in a book for 40 years. You know what happens? When people open this book, they're gonna go to Hogwarts straight away. You're gonna be dumble fucked. This woman now owns the most potent book in the world and she doesn't even know it. Okay, so let me get this straight. You buy mushrooms from somebody. I don't know if she's stupid or if she's an FBI informant. They could have put a wire on her. All right, guys, we're gonna get vegan gains today. Miss Katie, all you have to do is wear a wire. Just ask him normal questions, he won't know. Okay, so vegan gains, um, what are mushrooms? What is your distributor's name, number, and social security number? I just wanna know because that's a five to 10 year felony. <laughs> not that I, not that I'm a FBI informant. You like carrots? Is it hard to, are they hard to grow? How much do you take? It's like, I'm 100 pounds, you're how much? So we're not gonna take the same amount of these. Out of curiosity, how hard are they to grow? Sorry, my mic didn't pick that up. Can you just say it closer? How how often do you take mushrooms? Because they're illegal, right? It's no, you all, have to take I'm gonna peer pressure you to take them. <laughs> and we're gonna twerk and we're gonna take and yeah. magically turn into 16 again. Why does she keep bringing up the twerking? She wants to twerk for kids, Richard, and she wants to go back to being 16 and twerking for Richard again. Woman, you know your age. It's not on any clock in the world because clocks don't go that high. Stop. So how much do you take? Like, what does it look like? The size of a Skittle? <laughs> She's back to the FBI stuff again. How much do you take? And does it look like a Skittle or does a mushroom look like a mushroom? Like. I don't know. I just need you to tell me all of the information into my mic really closely. No. Um, and you so just like swa you swallow it? Um, do you swallow them or do you just inhale? Do you just snort the mushrooms through your nose or do you rectally take them? How do you? How does one take a mushrooms? Like, are they? But they're dried, right? So yeah, they're dried. Just a follow-up question: Are the mushrooms dry or do they have a swim earlier? Like, I just want to know. They give you mushrooms. How do you know that? Like, well, first of all, is is it actually a mushroom and that's it? It's just a pure mushroom. There's no like yeah. added added pepper and salt like chemical on it. It's a mushroom. Yeah, no. Oh, you know what? I take that all back. She's just stupid. So, so what 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 do you do? Is it an actual mushroom from the grocery store? Do you just you just do that? Put a little salt and pepper, and you're out. You just on the floor like. Ugh. Is that is that how you do it? Can I maybe take a bell pepper and just suck that whole thing dry? I've heard that if you put a potato in a microwave for long enough, it becomes vodka. <laughs> This is like vegan Breaking Bad. <laughs> okay, now this part is just art. That vegan teacher asks Richard about why he doesn't like kids and he goes on his tirade. Tell us how much you love children. I uh, dislike children. <laughs> Uh, I, I'm, I'm being like dead serious too. No, no, okay, wait, 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 wait. I will say one thing and it's positive. He's never gonna be like EDP because he hates children. If a child even texts him, he's gonna be like, fuck you. Hey, you got one point on the board, Richard. I'd feel happy, I guess. Usually <laughs> infant children, but like even really, really young kids, like one or two. You know you were one once, right? So newborn babies? Yeah. I could see how you would be a little bit scared. They're so fragile, but- Yeah, I'd prefer to just throw them down a garbage chute. I love the fact that this is the first time the vegan teacher is like, oh, this oh, man, man crazy. crazy. <laughs> 
Yeah, I'd prefer to just yeah. throw them down a garbage chute. Nice. <laughs> if Richard ever comes up to me on the street, I'm gonna be like, wow, and he's gonna fucking move. I don't know, I just feel like I'm in danger whenever I'm near kids. I mean, someone quote that. Vegan Gains, I just feel like I'm in danger when I'm around kids. 10 minutes early on the video, I wanna bench press 405 pounds. You're a big baby, Richard. You should be, just, you should subscribe. Interesting. Yeah. Well, here's, a, here's an interesting thing. I don't know if you remember your childhood, but you you say you didn't have a great childhood oh my god it's turning into a therapy session she's a psychologist now yes do it i remember like it was when i was eight months my uncle corroborated the story too and i remember uh i just wanted to punch my mom as hard as i possibly could your uncle corroborated that did he you're like yeah that eight month baby he wanted to punch his mom as hard as he could I seen it with my own two eyes? That baby evil, evil. I told him right there, throw it in the garbage. They didn't do it. Then he grew up to be an idiot. So. And I had this idea where when she like went into the stroller to like look at me, I just punch her as hard as I could. I, I punched her, and then she like went back and like, oh, he, he hit me. I was so frustrated that she just didn't fall on the floor just in a pile of blood. I was just mad that I couldn't actually hurt her. I was so frustrated that I was just weak. A Wait, weird... what? What does that have to do with children? Yeah, no, you heard that correctly. This eight month old baby not only understands the concept of anger, but also understands gore. Essentially what Richard is saying is he's the smartest human in existence. I mean, if the bar was that high at eight years old, I don't know why you didn't progress since then. You haven't done a thing since eight months, apparently. Uh, the vegan teacher then, of course, goes off the deep end again and starts to marginalize people who have depression as if they can just get out of depression easily. You know, if somebody was depressed, I said, maybe you should be vegan. Get your mind off of your own, you know, your own problems and think about someone else. You know, like you can't get out of bed because you're depressed. Well, you know, get out of bed, go to your computer and share the videos of some animal rights activists or help in the comment section. Yeah, honestly, dude, I wouldn't expect you to understand this at all, but people who suffer from severe depression, just literally getting out of bed is a W. Waking up the next day for someone who's severely depressed is very hard. Because I've had it and I still have it. It's not easy. Some days you just genuinely don't want to be here. And things like waking up, walking, talking to people are just huge things. Sincerely, from someone who also suffers with it, leave us alone. We have our own problems in our own heads to deal with. If you understand compassion, if you're black, why the f Aren't you vegan? Do you not remember or know what ha what they did to your ancestors? That's what I would say. I don't even want to begin to tell you how stupid that comparison is, so I'm not going to. I don't want to justify how absolutely insane what she just said is, so I'm not going to. If you're a person of color and watching that, please hit me up in the comment section. Let her know how you feel. Maybe she's going to watch the video and read these comments. Have at it. Yeah, it's so weird. I, I can't even leave my house without... without people noticing me, it's terrible. I have to like wear a hat and people come up to me and, and sometimes they, they walk by and they go, hey, I'm being a teacher. <laughs> Is that the drunk guy from the street? Hey, you got a chance. How you doing, big teacher? Mm, love them carrots and hummus wrap. Whoop, whoop. Also, I love her theory that wearing relatively any headgear makes you unnoticeable. Like she's walking down the street, they're like, that's that vegan teacher. All she has to do is put a hoodie on, they're like, oh. Where the f did you go? Do carrots make you invisible? And other people are like, hi, vegan teacher, we really like you. So it's like, okay, hi, like, we have your our picture taken with you. And I'm like, mm, not really. <laughs> like, I just prefer, I hate it. I hate being known, actually. Well, that's fine, because you're not going to be known for much longer. You're going to be irrelevant very soon. But secondly, what a shitty thing to do to your fans. All they want to do is take a picture with you, and you're like, nah, a little too famous for you. I'm like anti fam Hey. I'm the vegan teacher. Support the cows, man. Every conversation, she's like 1.7 million followers that I had. Well, you don't. And I hate to break it to you, but you haven't had many views on your main channel either. You know what they say, be careful what you wish for, because you just might get it. And I think you got it. And what about you? Yeah, I'm fine with it, like, occasionally when I go out, uh, especially, it's not as bad now, but when I was in Toronto, pretty much uh, every time I went out in Toronto, people would recognize me. <laughs> people in Toronto like, <gasps> Oh my god, is that Drake? Dude, move aside, that's vegan gains! Ah! He 
he's the dude that hates the babies. Dude, you have like 300 something thousand subscribers. I have that. Nobody knows me. <laughs> Come on, don't take it so seriously as YouTube. I don't know, man. That ego thing gets me. I still feel like we're all just people who stand in our rooms and talk about things. They then go into a tirade about Isaac Butterfield. The thing that I hate about Butterfield is that he has absolutely no morals and he's an opportunist. Like what a f***ing asshole. Because he has, I don't know how many followers he has. I don't know, what million something. Uh, you know, he, you, these people like Gordon Ramsay and people like that, all these idiots. He thought it was hilarious that I went off TikTok. Like both of these people talk about free speech and when anyone so much as comes after them, suddenly they're like, you're an idiot, f*** you bro. They just cannot take criticism. It is literally the worst defense mechanism to be so close-minded that you cannot take criticism. This is why neither of you are gonna get anywhere in life. Vegan Games 30, this other one's 185 or something. You're not gonna progress much further with that attitude. You know, if you don't like an animal rights activist or you don't wanna be vegan, just shut the f up. How about you shut the f up though? Because let me just rewind what you just said. Don't you hate people who infringe on free speech? Don't you hate people who tell you what you can and can't say? Aren't you telling those people what they can and can't say? Are you not seeing the hypocrisy? Are you that stupid? I'm genuinely asking. I, I mean, every night my, my prayers to the dear Lord are please let these people choke on chicken bones and in their sleep. If you're gonna pray for people to die, then it's t <sighs> Miss Katie, if I roast you, you will be fucking cremated. That's how old you are, okay? I don't want to do this. But please do not wish harm on other people. Please. I don't like that. I do not like that at all. You are way too fucking old to be doing that. Unbelievable. Unbelievable to say something like that to anyone. Change your religion. If your religion is telling you to hurt animals or people, change your religion. People are like, I can't change my religion. I'm like, why not? Just change it, that's it. Oh, that should be easy. I'm so glad that you have so much power over so many people that are listening to all of you. Oh, it's 7,000 views. Poof, critical hit, zero damage, nobody listened. It's so goddamn boring, even Richard is yawning. I'm gonna get Rufus. All right, Rufus is calming me down, it's all right, guys. The barbells just peer pressure from dead people. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really have anything to say about that. I just wanted to show it. Oh, she's for equality. She hates every religion equally. All the Christians are gonna have to forgive the hell out of her for that one. <laughs> Do you know who this is, Vegseps? Yeah, um, we both hate each other. Um, Why? He's a dishonest, uh, jackass. No. You're gonna have to kiss and make up, because I said so. Right. So we'll see you then soon. Bye All for right, now, everyone. Care. Nice. <laughs> I love how Vegan Gains is so detestable as a human being. Even other people who have the same lifestyle as him don't like him. But I'll tell you right now, Vegan Gains, I like you. I like you a lot. Not as a person, but the fact that you exist means there's a super villain on YouTube, and I love that. I love super villains on YouTube. All right, so that was the video. <sighs> That's me sitting through two and a half hours of two bumbling Goombas. I thought they were just gonna have a silly, lighthearted conversation, and I don't know why, but they didn't. Now, I realize that I'm wearing a fake dog on my head, so nothing I say is really that important, but let me offer you an olive branch, so to speak. Both of you guys are so negative when it comes to things that are critical of yourselves that you are not prepared to take any criticism and grow from it. So if you operate on that basis, how are people ever gonna like you? And if people don't like you, why would they support your cause? Do you know what affinity is? Have either of you ever wondered why the people you're talking about have way more subscribers than you? Because in your eyes, you think they're idiots and there's nothing they can do right. But in their fans' eyes, they are doing God's work and helping them get through a tough, long day. So maybe if either of you tried to be affable and preached your cause with passion, instead of hurting and calling other people names and wishing death threats on others, maybe we would support your cause more. That's all I wanna say because I really don't wanna sit with either of these two anymore. I think they're just, I'm done with them. I have a fake dog on my head. I've been 16 Leo. Thank you so much for watching the video. Fluffs, take it away, buddy. You need some meat, bro. I mean, maybe not chicken. Boys need girls, over girls want men. It takes hard brain, all to get us there. Yeah, yeah. Father told me one day, he said, boys don't cry.